All right, what's going on, you guys? Welcome to Ramadi Hub again. I'm your host, Dr. Jota. I will give you a quick update on Eden Hazard's situation because apparently, according to the information that I have, um, Eden Hazard had another checkup and uh, had a lot of stuff yesterday uh, regarding to his injury in order to know what is going on, how is the situation, how is the you know injury uh, progressing and all the stuff. And apparently, uh, the results, it, I mean, I'm very happy because apparently everything is going good, is going okay, everything is, you know, coming along a little bit, but let me tell you, the Real Madrid doesn't have any kind of deadline, I mean, Eden Hazard uh, doesn't have yet any kind of date to come back or even to the practice, I mean, what Real Madrid really don't want is to commit the same mistakes that in the past. I mean, they don't want to force the Eden Hazard to come back to the practice and then uh, lose him again because he got another injury or something like that. So I think that this time it will be completely different. I mean, right now, this time, there's no reason for pushing the Eden Hazard to come back because the season is almost over. And if you think about it, there are much more many things to lose than things to win. I mean, it's got to be worse if you force the guy to come back and then in a couple of weeks down the road, you lose him again. So to me, the most small decision Real Madrid can take right now is to say, hey, just relax, just take it easy and... I mean, don't, I mean, no rush, uh, just, I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing um, else we can win with Eden Hazard. I, everything is lost right now. So the best way for him to come back, the best way for Real Madrid to treat the guy is to say, hey, Eden, just relax, take your time, and uh, only when you really feel you are okay to go back to the practice, just do it. I mean, there's no rush at all. The season is almost over and he has nothing else to show the, all, to all of us. And Real Madrid, I don't think that Real Madrid is thinking in selling him this summer because that would be the worst sell ever because we paid for this guy like 150 million in the past and we are not willing to sell this guy for something less than, you know, 40 to 50 million uh, euros. I don't think there's any single club in the world willing to pay more than 50 million euros for the Hazard. So at this point, I would say that Real Madrid is going to keep the guy, is going to keep the Belgian player. So for him, it's a little bit better because that way you don't have the pressure to get back. So to me, the most smartest thing that Eden Hazard can do and Real Madrid can do is just wait, take your time. And I mean, when you feel that you really... Um, when you really feel that you are ready to get back, just get back and that's it. So, very good news for Nidane Hazard. Now, let me know your thoughts about that. Just comment in the section below. And of course, subscribe to this channel, Real Madrid Hub.